as long as I record this. Okay. Uh, so homeowners insurance, just a couple of things you need to know. So just have a highlighter uh, ready for some of the things that I'm going to be talking about here. Homeowners insurance costs more. Why is that? The main reason is that it co covers the contents, the building, and liability. So it used to be just the contents and liability, and now we add the building itself to it, right? And what happens to the value of the building as time goes by? It goes up. The cost to build your house in 10 years from now, let's say a fire happens, hopefully it never happens, 10 years from now, it's going to cost the insurance company a lot more than right now. So, so that's why it's more insurance rates constantly change to accommodate for that. Um, and it covers you for, you know, fire, uh, burglary, flood, or storm damage. Lots of things they cover you for. So let's say a tree, you have a tree on your yard and the, one of the branches breaks off and falls on your roof, big hole, they'll cover that, right? Um, if uh, there's a flood, some people live close to the river or in areas that are prone, prone to flooding, right? Uh, they cover that. Um, so house insurance, obviously, for people owning a house or condominium. Uh, I will also highlight this. This, for, this is FYI, you will not get a mortgage. The bank will not release the money unless you can show that you've insured your house. However, you can, once you sign the mortgage, cancel your insurance. I would strongly advise against it. I know times are tough sometimes, and I listened on the radio last year a mom was, wasn't able to pay it anymore, so she canceled the insurance and the furnace caught on fire. It was an old furnace. The whole place burned down. And the minute you cancel your insurance, you're, you're out, right? It's like you're no, no longer insured. So this happened like days after she canceled. Um, so don't play with that. Like make sure you have your insurance because you never know, okay? Uh, factors that affect your insurance. I'm going to use a different color maybe for the factors. So I have lots written there, but basically location or where you live. And that's why there are four areas in our table, right, for the home insurance. Our, it depends on what the crime rate is in your area, right, how prone are you to you know, flood your property, things like that. Type of coverage. Are you going standard versus comprehensive? And you can choose to use your own words uh, when you explain these types of questions. Um, the value of your home, of course, is going to be a main factor that affects your insurance. Um, are you choosing to have additional coverage? So in terms of water damage, there are three different coverages you can get. Overland flooding, that's literally when the water comes through your door or windows on the top down into your basement. Groundwater flooding, that's when the water underneath builds up and it comes through your basement uh, floor somehow. And then there is sewer backup. This is the nastiest of all floods if you ever have that because it's literally sewer coming into your house and the newer houses they have a, a backflow valve that prevents anything coming into your house it will only like when you flush your toilet it will let it into the city sewer but if it senses that it comes back into your home it will just close newer houses older houses don't have that but usually in the city it's not such a big deal but it has happened and believe me I know people that went through it. Everything is garbage. Everything in the basement, like anything that touches it, you don't want it anymore because it's pretty gross. Right? Um, furniture, couches, carpet, 
It's all garbage. Um, another thing that affects you is, is your deductible, right? Are you going 200 versus 500? I'm not going to go into this example here. Uh, I sometimes do, but it's, it's okay. Just know that your deductible will affect it. 500 versus 200. Let's go to page 50. I'm almost done with these extras. But the province does ask for this uh, in various forms. Sometimes multiple choice, sometimes fill in the blank, sometimes match, like match these words with this, right? So another big one is discounts. Like you get discounts if you are claim free. This is on page 50. If you if they go back five, ten years and they don't see that you like they can't see that you ever made a claim. You get a discount, 10, 15%. And I'm paying $1,500 on house insurance every year. That's 150 bucks less. Hey, I'll take, I'll take that. If you're smoke-free home, so they'll ask you, anybody in the home smoke? If it's smoke-free, you get a discount. It's for the, right? The chances of starting a fire are higher. Um, if you have an alarm system, they will give you a discount, but get, uh, get this part if you on top of having an alarm system also have it monitored by a company you get even bigger discount so I believe it's 10% for an alarm system just having it and another 5% if it's monitored so sometimes a discount pays for the fee you pay to have it monitored it's kind of cool and uh, you know right alarm systems like a sticker on your window or like a lawn sign, it deters uh, theft. It doesn't prevent it completely, but it deters, right? I talked to a police officer, so number one deterrent is a dog for obvious reasons. And he said that having like your TV on deters a lot too. If you have your TV going, like that flicker at night or even the sound, that's a good one too. So there's some, that's free. That's free for you to know. Uh, so when it comes to the building itself, of course, we look at the value of the home. We look at how old the building is. They look, sorry, I'm not, I don't work for them. <clears throat> what type of building are you buying? Is it a bungalow? Bungalow is like just a house that is not, doesn't have stairs in, unless you go to the basement, right? Um, a two-story house. Is it a side-by-side -side that's coming in? That's pretty popular, right? Where they build houses like right next to each other. Um, is your garage attached or is it detached? So they ask you all these questions. Uh, when was it built? All of those things. Um, what type of electrical wiring has been installed? Um, I will make a note here, note. Aluminum wiring. Costs more. I will even say this. If your house has aluminum wiring, your house was built quite a while ago. They know that by every, every so often they have codes, right? Building codes. So when they look at your the age of your home, they will immediately think, oh, do you have aluminum wiring in your house? Because aluminum wiring heats up more. And a lot of fires are known to have started because of that. So they will probably ask you to inspect the home. That's why I say get an inspection done. Because your home inspector, when you buy it, will tell you, hey, you've got aluminum wiring, which is going to cost you more for insurance, or maybe you might not even get approved which means you have to redo the entire wiring of the entire home, which means ripping out walls, rewiring. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. It could cost you 20 grand just to rewire the entire home or more. Right? So there's some extra there for you. I told you I'm passionate about this, right? So for some of you, it's like, I don't need to know. Too, that's too much, right? Too much information. Anyways, um, let's do some calculating here again. So let's go to 54, and then you'll you'll write the AC right after this. 54. Um, you know what? 
my my guess is a lot of you did this already. You're, you're done. You have it done. Uh, way to go. Okay. But uh, I just want to make sure you got it right, and maybe I can point stuff out for you. Okay. So I don't want students to ever complain they don't have enough examples. That's all I'm saying here. What is the annual cost to insure your home? Please pay attention. It's insuring a home. It's not tenant insurance. Some students use tenant insurance for home insurance and you can't mix it up. You want 120,000 in area two, standard $500 deductible after tax. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of information. Don't panic, okay? Just take your table. You're gonna pick the home insurance one, this one, and you must pick a number. So you go to 120, you're not maxing out, right? Maxing out would be way down here. 120, I told you I'm, I'm like Dory, right? Finding Nemo. Area two standard, okay. <clears throat> 120, area two standard. This is area two, so if it's under standard, 309. So now you narrowed it down to just one number. Grab that number, you have a mark. 309, that's it. There is no overage, because I'm not going past 200,000. So it's just that in the square brackets. It's a $500 deductible, so I don't need to multiply it by 1.10 but it does ask for after tax. So I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> so if you multiply this, you get 330 and 63 cents. Is that all right? Check, I right, get a big check mark there. Maybe a sticker next time. Uh, there you go. Next, what's the cost to insure? So I'm, I'm focusing on homeowner's insurance right now, right? Insuring a home Area three for this much, comprehensive, $500 deductible after tax. So lots of information, don't panic, right? Home insurance, area three. You, If you did the homework, you, you should know, oh, something is happening here. This is above the max, right? So that's, I'm gonna go minus 200,000 right away. So that's 15,000 overage before I even start my work. Then I'm gonna go insurance. <clears throat> insurance, so let's see, area three, comprehensive, 215. So you max out, right? You go all the way to 200, area three, comprehensive. So you grab this, is it comprehensive? Thank you. 799, 391. Maybe I should get myself checked out, right? Something you should be worried about that. 799 times, no, not times, sorry, big mistake. Plus, because you're paying 799 and then whatever additional coverage you need. And it was 391. Square bracket. $500 deductible. I don't need the 1.10, but I do need the 1.07. So let's clean this up. 799 plus 5865. Make sure you do this. You're not, you have to get everything inside here to just one number before you multiply by 1.07. That's why I put the square brackets there. So I add 7.99 to it, 857.65 times 1.07. <clears throat> That's 917.69. Is that good? Don't be too excited, guys. Keep it down. Anyways. Uh, what's the cost to insure a home for 175 metro standard 200 before tax? Oh, before tax. Watch it. So let's see here. Insurance. 
I'm going to do this fast. I'm not going to show you the table. Metro standard. I'm just looking at my chart 607. I'm not going over, so I don't even need the, the other part. I just need to multiply this by 1.10. And by doing so, you get 667.70. Let the marks guide you on, a, on the quiz tomorrow. Let the marks guide you. Like if it's four marks, it's probably like a full on a lot of stuff required. If it's just a two marker, then it's probably just this. Okay. So be aware of that. Okay. You can close your booklets for now. Just have your study sheets. Here we go. So emphasis on emphasis on renting. Okay, we're renting, so you know which table to use. Uh, so we're insuring uh, it's tenant insurance, 40 grand, comprehensive, $500 deductible, and it's before tax. Okay, so let's see insurance. We're not going over because you should remember it's 75,000 for tenant insurance is the max, right? So here we just go down to 40. We want comprehensive, so it's this number. So it's 269. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's why it's worth one mark. So this is all or nothing. All or nothing. Okay. So there you go. One mark. Boom. You're done. You want, you're like, it can't be, right? Like, okay. George lives in an apartment. Uh, estimates his stuff to be worth a hundred thousand. Uh oh, right? It's over seventy-five. It's gonna be more work. Standard insurance, five hundred dollar deductible. This should tell you right away that you're not gonna multiply by one point ten. This should tell you that. Calculate the yearly premium before tax. Don't do the one point zero seven. So this has eliminated two things that you need to normally do. So ins insurance, oh, I'm going to do the overage here somewhere, 100,000 minus 75 because that's the max for tenant insurance. So I know this is my overage. And so let's use our, it's a standard. So standard, you max out at, and that you pay 359 for, and you need to pay 450 for every additional thousand dollars worth of coverage so 359 plus 25,000 450 over a thousand square bracket you don't need to do the 1.10 you don't need to do 1.07 so I'll give you one mark for this and I'll give you one mark for showing the 25 grand and the rate from the table and you'll get one more mark for actually calculating this whole thing so let's clean this up 359 plus uh i'm just going to go with my key here uh 11 12 right 11 sorry 112.5 and then when you add that up you get 471.50 that is the final answer you're supposed to get i'll give you another mark for that so let's go to the two points here cross it off and just say this is worth three. Okay, next. Uh, we purchased a home, so this is different, right? Home insurance, home owner's insurance for 195, located in Winnipeg, standard 200, uh oh, oh, right? 110 will be needed here, but it's before tax, so no 1.07. So for insurance, I must pick a value, right? 195 in Winnipeg, uh, standard. So I got to use this one. 195, right there. Winnipeg standard, 678. Question two. 
No overage, right? Let me finish this one, Caleb. Uh, 110, but not 1.07, okay? So this ends up being 745.80. So one mark for the 678 and another mark for the correct final answer, which would include you having to multiply by 1.10. So this one stays out of two. You still have a question, Caleb? No. You figured it out? Yeah. Okay. We're good? Don't be too excited, guys. I told you already. Settle down. All right. Four. Victor owns our home in area four. 425. Uh, comprehensive. $500 deductible. After tax. Insurance. Here it is. Uh, the overage is 225, right? So 425 minus 200, which is the max. You should have an example on your study sheet what happens when you go over, right? So 225 uh, goes in there. You get 1,063 if you could, if you match area four comprehensive at 200,000, right? You get this number. Plus, you're going to pay a whack load for the extra. What is that rate again? 519 for every $1,000 of coverage you need. And I'm going to multiply this by 1.07. That's it. 1.10 is gone because of this, right? Clean this up. So let's do some marks here. One for that. One for having this. I, you know what? I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to give you half a mark for showing that and half a mark for showing that just to make it a little easier on the marking. So yeah, there's three marks just in the setup. And so let's clean this up. 1,063 plus, when you multiply this by 519 divided by 1,000, you get 1,167 and 75 cents. But don't multiply it by 1.07 just yet. You gotta add these up. You get 2230.75 times 1.07, which is 2386.90. You get another mark for that final answer. Okay. So, uh, 1, 2, 3. And four, so this question is not out of three, this question is out of four. So this whole page ends up being out of 10. If you add it all up, this page is worth 10 marks. So put a mark out of 10 at the bottom of this page. All right, next. Back side. Okay. If you paid attention to what I did earlier, you should know the answer here. Two factors that affect your insurance, any two. So you could say discount. How do you get a discount, right? Claim free, claim free, smoke free, alarm, etc. You can say the value of the home. You can say age of home. You can say standard. Yeah, versus comprehensive. There are so many. How so? Like picking your home? Like, are you talking about the value of the home? Or area? Area. Half. Okay. Area you live in. Anything else? Anybody else? 200 versus $500 deductible. Literally, like, you, you name it, there's lots of things. The age of the home. Did I say that already? I did say it. If, you, if you're not sure, ask. Anybody? 
Any questions? You just want me to move on, don't you? Yeah, I, I agree with you. Totally. Uh, Tina currently holds a home insurance policy with a comprehensive coverage at a $200 deductible. How could she lower her annual premiums? Hint, 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 hint. Change one of these, right? She could, sorry, she could change over to a $500 deductible. That could be one. Or she could choose a standard policy instead. She could increase her income. No. Every once in a while, I get some funny ones in there. So that's why I put that in there. That one wouldn't work in this case. She should lower her credit score. No. Mm -mm. Try again. It has nothing to do with this. <laughs>